Welcome back all you sports and gambling fans out there. Today we're doing some NHL betting coverage and joining me here is our very own SBR contributor Dave Golikov. And today he's providing us with his top three NHL picks of the day. All right, let's start looking at the game between the Edmonton Oilers and the New Jersey Devils. Now here the Devils are coming in as minus 180 favorites. And despite, you know, going up against a lousy team like the Oilers, you think that you, 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 we're going to see the under five goals cover in this spot. Now, what's the logic behind this pick, man? Yeah, well, I have no pick on the side. I mean, I imagine the Devils probably win this game, but uh, not really interested in betting this side here because of the juice. Uh, Devils are playing well, about as good as they played all season long, so I wouldn't be surprised if they come away with the win. But I like the under here. Uh, you take a look at Corey Schneider. I hope he's the guy that carries us to that under 4-0-1 in his last five starts uh, overall buck 37 goals against average and his uh, 944 save percentage since the flip of the calendar to 2015 is among the best in the NHL he actually plays uh, about equally as good if not better against the Oilers he's uh, won four of his last five starts has a 951 save percentage against them. So I think uh, he's the key to us getting in under here. Oilers averaging just 2.15 goals per game on the road. So uh, I think the Devils play their style, uh, dictate the pace, get the win, and probably, uh, or I should say, give us the under and probably get the win here too. All right, man. Next up in line here is the Arizona Coyotes going up against the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, of course, the Blackhawks are going to be favored in this game against Arizona. But minus 295 is just way too big of a price to pay. So besides that, I mean, why do you think that we should be grabbing Chicago's minus one and a half plus 103 puck line in this situation, Dave? Yeah, I like Chicago here because I think they get the win first and foremost facing a Arizona team that's slumping. Uh, I mean, they're pretty much slumping every time we do a video, which is uh, pretty much every day. Um, the Coyotes uh, have dropped 10 of 13 not playing particularly well in net and I think that's the concern that I have here in this position. Chicago did have a bit of a slump and I will say um, you know a little bit the one caveat here the one thing that concerns me is that they're back home their first game after a long road trip but other than that everything to me points to Blackhawks win they've won two straight and kind of got back on track after their mini slump facing a Coyotes team they dominate they've won five of the last seven meetings against them and they score well against uh, Arizona. Arizona's defense is awful. Their goaltending is one is among the worst in the NHL, giving up the fifth most goals this season. Uh, the Blackhawks, as mentioned, have won five of seven. In those five wins, they've scored at least five goals in each of them. Uh, Mike Smith does not fare well against the Blackhawks with a goals against average well over four. So I think uh, Chicago continues that uh, tonight, and we get a comfortable win and cover the puck line. All right, man. Now to close out the day, we have that Minnesota Wild game going up against the Vancouver Canucks. Now, the Wild are minus 140 road favorites, and considering your standards, it's not too bad of a price in this case. But you're recommending that we side with the under five goals, pretty much because the Wild's goaltender, Devon Dubnik, has been uh, pretty much on fire as of late. Now, what else can you tell us about this one, man? Yeah, Devin Dubnik. I know it's kind of a funky name there to pronounce, but, uh, you know, he's been playing absolutely fantastic of late. Um, what is it? Back-to-back -back shutouts. I think three goals in his last five games in total. Since coming over from Arizona, he's been phenomenal. I think something like seven, one, seven of nine starts, seven of eight starts. Uh, goals against average just over one. He's been out of his mind, playing very confidently, and that's why I'm going to bank on him continuing that and uh, producing an under here. Unders cashed in six of the last eight Wilds games. Um, and uh, you take a look at who's coming to town. Vancouver, you know, so-so uh, in terms of offense, uh, pretty good in terms of defense. Ryan Miller coming off a shadow himself. So I'm expecting a low-scoring affair in this one. All right, Dave, thanks as always for the insights and the picks, and we'll talk again tomorrow. And everyone else, don't forget to check back again tomorrow for some more sports coverage and your free picks. Till then, for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd.